I can't take you with us, Sigmund. I'm not risking the lives of my men and wife to these sunstones. You're making a mistake. But throw thee gone. I'm the best navigator you'll find this time of year, and you know it. You've already deceived us once with your tales of magic pebbles. I'm not letting you steer us into rocks again. Without Froda to guide you, you're as good as blind. So you'd rather trust whales and winds than your own feel eye? Bjorn was right about you. Try sailing across the sea in this weather. You won't get past the shore. Not without a skilled sailor. You're absolutely right. I do need a navigator. But you weren't one to begin with. No good. Throw this betrayal cuts deeper with each navigator we're forced to turn away. He got an offer he couldn't refuse. Wouldn't you choose to sail with a great sea king given the chance? I already am. Regardless, Frode broke his word. Now we have no navigator and no men in the middle of the sailing season. How are we supposed to cross the sea? Trick is waiting for us in Notfall with our supplies. He might have heard of someone trustworthy. Not fall folk dread the great waters more than a feral cat. They'll be of no use in the upcoming storm. No. I'll ask my mother. She knows everyone in Eikundarsund. I'll find a clan to join us there. Is it wise for you to go? They might not agree to sail with a woman aboard. I'm sure my charms will outweigh their fears. Trick looks busy with our supplies. Good man. I'll be off then, to find the men we need. Be swift, my love. We'll meet you in Ekundersund once the boat is loaded. Trick. I gather these crates are full of dried cod? They are. And the other ones have hard bread, mead, and wool canvases for the crew. Excellent. You have served us well for many years now, Trick. Faithfully. I can't say it was a pleasure, but you've treated me with respect. I'm grateful for it. Now I hope my debt has been paid. In full. Are you sure I can't tempt you to come with us? Your help would be invaluable. Shackles here versus shackles across the sea? Tough choice to make. Oh, you misunderstand me. I free you, here and now. But if you return to me willingly as a slave, you can purchase a place amongst my crew. Once we're established in the land across the sea, I'll free you for good and take you as my partner in trade. Not many slaves would get an offer like that. Well then, Let's get these supplies on board before the storm hits us. Four legs are faster than two.
Freyr, gods, let this horse bring balance and protection to our journey. Mother will be happy to see me. Freya herself. Come, embrace your mother. Mother, it's been a while. Far too long. The sheep miss you, Gunhilda. They can't bear the thought of losing you to the land across the sea. They might not have to. Whatever is troubling you, my love, we will remedy it. We need more men. The clan we recruited has decided to remain on land. We're left with no navigator nor crew. Some clans have just returned from the sea. I've seen them camp nearby. I can take you to them, but you'll have to be persuasive. Do you doubt my abilities, Mother? <laughs> I wouldn't dare. You've always had wits sharper than Gunknir. I can only hope that just like Odin's spear, you will return to me. You know we must go where our opportunities lie. This land is overcrowded. We want our own fields, to harvest our own crops. All right. I won't push any further. Your father will be heartbroken. And you won't be? My heart broke the day you left our home. We've arrived. Go on, love. Thank you, mother. Free men of Eikundarsund! Heed my call. We are looking for those brave enough to defy the whale road with us. You, will you sail with us? I saw you on the path earlier. You came here on a horse, didn't you? I did. And you shamelessly admit it. You fool. No, I won't sail with you. I don't want to face the spirit's wrath. I intended to break the curse of sailing with a woman when riding that horse. It should protect us. Have you seen the sky? The gods are already punishing you for your arrogance. Bondi, join us. My men and I have just returned from years of Vikinger with Guthrum's warband. Uh, it's time for us to tend to our crops and see our children grow. When do you leave? Today. Have you sailed before? My husband sailed with Harald Jarl himself. He sailed enough for both of us. I've learned to be wary of boastful spirits. Your word alone isn't enough. How can I convince you to accompany us? Well, why are you leaving our northern land? My husband is a second son. If we were to stay, our farm will pass to his eldest brother, and we'll be left with nothing. I understand that all too well. My men and I have found this temporary campsite, but we've got nowhere to go. Then come with us. It does sound tempting. Would you have enough supplies for all my men? My husband is loading the mead and the dried fish aboard our ship as we speak. We'll have plenty for everyone. How will we be sleeping? We'll protect ourselves with wool canvases. Mm hmm That should be enough. How will you find your way across the sea? My husband has met with a sea rider using these rocks he called sunstones. Now tell your husband this man is a liar. Sunstones are rarely used for a reason. We'll observe the signs Midgard has given us. The birds, the currents, the stars. The spirits will show us the way. We need someone to interpret it. You're right. I can help you around these shores, but in the midst of the wave world, we'll need an expert. We? Oui. Have you decided to come? I have. You speak true and my men are ready to settle. I'm honored. Gather your men and your things. I'll take you to our ship.
I should know better than to ever doubt you. You excel once again. There's little to stand in your way when you aim for the sky. Steger's clan will accompany us. <sighs> but we remain short a navigator. I thought of someone while loading the ship. Who? You'll need to trust me. But we must reach Heloia first. And fast. The storm is imminent. It's looming on the horizon like a bad omen. Have we offended the gods in some way? I rode a horse to my mother. Gunhilda. You asked me to trust you. It's only fair you do the same. We didn't have time to pay our respects to the spirits. I did what I must. Now, how do we reach Heloia? I know where Heloia is. Then, lead the way. We must exit the fjord. Sail right. Now straight ahead towards the setting sun. Now, get closer to the shore, but make sure to keep the rocks on your left and the land on your right. We don't want to damage the hull. Embrace the shore until you see a tower of ice. There! The ice tower! Sail towards it! But beware, we're in shallow waters now. Well done. Now we're going to pass a small island filled with sea lions. Past the Sea Lion's Island. Our destination is ahead. Do not lose your course through the storm. Do you see the light? Go towards it. It's our destination.
We've arrived! This is Haloya! Brother, I've come to... Brother? When have we ever been brothers? We were in the same Felak, Bjorn. We've sworn oaths to respect, support, and protect each other. They still hold true for me. Those oaths were broken long before my exile, Thorstein, by both of us. You might have forgotten, but I've had years of solitude to remember. Ah, your scorn would be the death of us all! I haven't forgotten, but I refuse to let the past haunt my future. Maybe you should do the same. We need you, Bjorn. Join us. Lead us through the Salted Mountains. Is this a trick? Why come to me? Can't you trust that not everyone is deceitful? No other sea rider tames the waves like you do. Now that I can believe. Take me to your ship then, and we'll leave this wretched place. I see you've made a true sea king of yourself. It wasn't always pleasant, but I haven't been idle. It must be nice to have Harald's support. Mostly Gunhilda's. Gunhilda, you haven't changed. That's Still enough from you. Leave us. This is the Northern Sea. I know what you're going to say. Yet it didn't stop you from making such a foolish decision. You would have never agreed. And with good reason. How are you so quick to forget? I'm not. I don't trust him. Neither do I. But he's in that boat as well. He won't put us all in danger. And after that? After that, we'll part ways. The Isle of Britannia has plenty of land to spare. Oh, may the gods hear you. Cheers. 